Now, Two News Oklahoma Sports. Oh, this was fun. Tonight at Boone Pickens Stadium, OSU honoring that unforgettable 2011 team that won a Big 12 championship and the Fiesta Bowl. They were so much fun to watch. Justin Blackman, Brandon Weed right in the center. The whole gang was there feeling the love from the crowd. And after hooking up for nearly 40 touchdowns in 2010 and 11, how about one more time? Whedon to Blackman. That's the good stuff. And welcome into sports, everybody. Can't lose on a night like this, right? Speaking of 2011, you know, the first month of the college football season was a bit of a bumpy ride for both OU and OSU, but for the first time in 10 years, both the Sooners and Cowboys have started a season 5-0. Can't do better than that. Top 25 showdown in Stillwater tonight. Pokes hosting Baylor. Opening drive, well, OSU looked like that 2011 squad. Tay Martin and Jalen Warren combined for 75 yards on the opening march. Warren scoring the touchdown there, 7-0 Pokes. But Spencer Sanders starts throwing it to the wrong team. Two interceptions on the Cowboys' next two drives. The OSU defense, though, doesn't let Baylor do a thing with it. Only two first downs for the Bears in the entire half. Final minute of the half now. This was huge. Sanders throwing for Rashad Owens in the end zone. First career touchdown for the freshman from San Antonio. Cowboys take a 14-0 lead to the break. They were fired up. Second half, the Baylor offense would finally break the seal, cutting the OSU lead to 14-7. When Tay Martin makes his terrific catch, just does get the toe down. Leads to a field goal, 17-7 OSU, 108 yards for Martin. Two minutes to go, OSU up 17-14. That was on fourth and two at the four ball game. Warren into the end zone. He goes for 125 yards and two scores. Another close one, but another win for Mike Gundy and the Cowboys. 24-14 the final, 5-0 for the first time in a decade. Three interceptions on the night for Sanders, but he does throw for 182 yards and runs for 76 more. He's the Tasmanian Devil, right? That's what Gundy called him this week. The Cowboys reach the bye week undefeated, have an extra week to prep for Texas October the 16th in Austin. Let's hear from Coach Gundy. Uh, obviously a great win for us. Um, we got away with another one. We, you know, we're minus three in turnovers, and it's just extremely difficult to win a game uh, when you're minus two. Minus one is not usually as big an issue percentage-wise, but to, to be minus three in the turnovers and still win is pretty fortunate. But overall, we need a break. We've been at it eight weeks. Um, guys are tired, beat up, sore, so uh, it's good to finish. Um, it's good to be 5-0. and oh. I'm proud of the guys, the way they compete, and um, just keep moving forward. 